Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 6th, 2021. Well, my goodness, I hope everyone had a fantastic holiday and um, are re all rested and ready to get back to work here this morning. Um, obviously, we had a, a incredible week um, last week with basically daily records being set every single day by the SPY and QQQ. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs? Let's buckle up and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for all of the support to this channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at uh, these charts today and see if we can decide how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, let's notice that the Dow has just done an amazing job the last three weeks of trading. Um, we have just surged back like there was no problem to begin with. So as you can see, we're pushing up here toward that breakout high. Um, I would say we are in strike within striking distance. In fact, I wrote about that this morning in the blog. All we would need is that little bit of a push up here. If we could close up here, whoops, not like that, but if we could close up there um, with a bullish candle, maybe just a little bit of a bullish push up here, we could easily see um, this market close at a new record high, although it may not be a record high print. So we could see a new record high pretty easily close uh, pretty easily here in the Dow. We are definitely within striking distance of that. However, we must also recognize the fact that this resistance up here could be a little bit interesting to try and break through. We've tried this several times and just haven't been able to pop through that level. So keep a close eye on that. We also want to recognize if we were to draw a trend line right up through here, right up through here, notice we're getting that conjunction of a couple of resistance points in this chart coming together. So a little bit to worry about there, but um, with the bullishness of the market right now, I don't know if it would be um, an extreme worry point. We just want to be aware of that and realize that this could be the place where bears have set up a defensive zone. Um, so watch that closely. Now, keep in mind, if we do pull back, I don't know that it's going to be a horrible situation. It might be a little bit painful point-wise. Um, if we were to pull back into here, I think we're in pretty good shape. If we can hold on and uh, to that trend, we'll be in pretty good shape. And let's keep in mind, we're well above our 50-day moving average here. So pulling back into this area could provide um, nothing but that next opportunity to move up. However, if that pullback becomes a little bit strong and we were to break that 50-day moving average, I think that could be a bit of a problem here. So keep a close eye on that. Right now, there's no evidence that that is going to occur, but we should remember you know, just the old saying, uh, what goes up must come down eventually. And um, when that might happen, your guess is as good as mine, but watch that close. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, we are very, very bullish here in the SPY and almost so bullish that it makes me a little bit concerned. Notice the last couple of days we gapped and run to the upside. Now what that resembles to me is that possibility of a blow off, that blow off top where everyone who um, hadn't gotten into the market suddenly comes rushing in and we kind of reach some evaluations here in charts that are, uh, well, pretty scary um, overall. So our valuations are very, very high. And that doesn't mean we can't continue to go higher. We certainly can. Just because we are extended doesn't mean we can't continue to go higher. But we do want to think about the fact that if we were to just pull back a little bit, if we were to pull back to this support level, 
how painful that might be if you're one of the last person in the door here and bought into that rush toward the end of, of last week. So keep in mind, if we were to pull back, that's a pretty darn substantial pullback point-wise and could be rather painful um, for those um, who chase that. So be careful chasing already extended stocks. There may be stocks out there that... <clears throat> And there are stocks out there that have really good potential setups with low risk, but a lot of these stocks are extremely elevated. So be really careful of that. Let's notice the fact that we are well off our 50 day moving average here. That means that if we were to pull back, not a major problem here, as long as we can pull back into some price support in here and hold, that wouldn't be a problem at all. And maybe that's exactly what we need to do is just consolidate, do a little bit of resting pullback, consolidate in here, and we could maintain this trend to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. Then let's take a look at our QQQ. Now our QQQ, this is just truly a remarkable run. Um, it's a rare event, guys, when we see um, a market run like this with virtually no pullback, um, almost no rest, not even taking a breath um, in that upside move. So watch that carefully. I think the NASDAQ is becoming incredibly extended and possibly even inflated. Um, and if the tech sector starts to sell, it may be really difficult for the overall market to move up. Just remember, it's the big techs that lifted the SPY almost exclusively. And if they start selling, it may be very, very difficult for the market to move up. Now, there's no clue here in this chart that that's about to begin. But remember, those kind of things can occur very quickly. Also notice that we had this gap up we gapped up and ran so we have these opening gaps here um, in the market we're still trying to extend the qqq higher but be really really careful and cautious i wouldn't over trade and i would be um, i'd be a little suspicious that we could eventually run into some bears and see some profit taking begin to happen here in the NASDAQ. So watch that close. And just keep in mind, we are extremely elevated away from our 50 day moving average. And just imagine a pullback that pulls back into here to test this price support. How painful that would be if you are chasing in, uh, even in the last few days of this rally to the upside, the pullback could be pretty painful if it does occur. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now, IWM didn't enjoy the same uh, day um, on Friday that everything else did. Notice that IWM left behind a bearish engulfing candle and we continue to struggle with this resistance up here. We just can't quite seem to push on through um, to that upside. So left behind a bearish engulfing candle. Now that only is going to become important if that bearish engulfing candle follows through to the downside. If that were to follow through to the downside, breaking this low here, that could be a little bit of a problem. That would maybe confirm some downside move here in um, IWM. Let's notice that we've got this little tiny downtrend going on in here. So keep a close eye on that. Now, we also have this upside trend. So probably won't mean a whole lot unless we were to break that trend to the downside. If we were to bust this to the downside, then we could really start picking up um, with some selling here on IWM. So just watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Now our VIX pulled back on Friday, but you would think with the SPY and the QQQ hitting new record highs, we would see the VIX really starting to show us basically no fear. But essentially, we pushed down and by the end of the day, pushed right back up here. Although this is a new closing low in the SPY, it, or in the, in the VIX, it is not exactly an overly confident close um, in the VIX, showing that there may be a little bit of fear, a little bit of worry that we've pushed these valuations too high. So watch that closely. It's only going to matter if we start seeing those bears come in. If they start coming in, and we particularly see big tech starting to sell off. Watch this carefully. 
it could spike pretty fast. So uh, be prepared, have a plan to protect yourself just in case um, some selling does begin here in the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 is kind of interesting last week. Um, on Friday morning, our T2122 was all the way up here. All the way up here but notice we finished it down here and actually in a decline now think about that we set new record highs in the spy and the qqq and yet t2122 pulled back so what does that mean that means that the majority of stocks were moving sideways to down while the other stocks where we had very select stocks pushing us to new record highs. Now we can continue that for a period of time, but at some point in time, we're gonna run out of energy. We're gonna run out of those new buyers coming into those select stocks. And if they happen to hatch, catch that profit taking um, um, area, just watch for that possibility that we could sink in here pretty quickly. Not suggesting today is that day. It may not even be this week or this month, but we want to be starting to be prepared for that possibility that these valuations are getting a little bit too high and sellers may soon come in. So remember, T2122 does not tell us which direction the market's going to go. What it does is it says, hey, we have plenty of upside room to go. If we can find bullish inspiration, we've got upside possibility. We've also got plenty of downside possibility if the bears were to come up with inspiration. So um, we've got plenty of movement possibility here in this chart, watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now, I gotta tell you guys, this continues to just be um, almost horrific. It, it, it makes me about as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Seeing us hitting new record highs in the SPY and the QQQ and market breadth continuing to just fall like a rock. That, that's not normal and it's not something that makes me very comfortable um, at all in the market so watch that carefully and closely what we could see if the bears do get re-engage if we were to see this surge back higher on a selling wave that should really give us a warning of um, some trouble ahead so um, watch that closely been in a long-term downtrend here and um, Man, it's just, it, it, it's pathetic uh, when it comes to market breadth right now. It's scary. Um, so watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, we've got a couple of things that we want to be paying attention to and a few things coming on later this week that we want to be watching. Um, today, notice we've got um, PMI final. Um, don't think that's going to move us around at all. We have ISM services um, later on this morning. So that's our biggest report of the day. I doubt it really does a whole lot to move us around, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. Notice we have a few short-term um, um, bill auctions. Um, but not much of anything else. Then Wednesday is where we're gonna have our issue and our possibility. And by the way, just keep in mind that on a day like today, right after a holiday, we could certainly see a lot of traders just taking the day off. So don't be surprised if volume is light, price action is a little bit choppy as a result of that, just folks extending their vacations. Then also keep in mind that on Wednesday, we're gonna get the jobs opening report and we're gonna get the FOMC minutes. That could be an interesting one if there's any discussion, um, concern about inflation that shows up in there, that could be an interesting one to pay attention to. So keep an eye on that. Then later on the week, of course, we have jobless claims, we have petroleum status, those normal things, but relatively a light week on the economic calendar. We also have a light week on the earnings calendar. Today we had 
oh, 13 or so companies listed on the calendar, but I could really only come up with one potential notable. There were only three confirmed earnings reports today and a notable SGH. Um, reporting this morning and it looks like they have reported very very well you can see here in the pre-market popping up breaking through that resistance level in the chart so SGH looking pretty good this morning might be worth keeping an eye on this intraday um, so that is it as far as um, earnings uh, news so far this morning let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be worthy, if you find this video to be worthy, please click that thumbs up button, leave those brief comments. Um, it It's the... It's the engagement with a video that makes a big difference on how um, the algorithm shows this video to more folks. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. It means the world to me, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Also, just a huge shout out and thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel through Buy Me a Coffee link. You can find that link just below the title of the video. Thank you so much. Um, Truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So how about we take a look at some stock setting up and just realize that as I talk about these stocks, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. Make sure you're doing your own evaluation. Make sure you understand the risks of the trade that you're thinking about taking. And please keep in mind that if it's a trade that I'm interested in, I've got a bias in that trade. So make sure you're doing your own due diligence on these trades. Let's take a look at the oil sector. Um, as we have probably heard, or as you've probably heard, um, oil is hitting a six year high this morning. And that possibility that oil could continue to surge. In fact, there's one analyst out there that says we could easily, or the former energy secretary, um, suggesting that oil could potentially hit a hundred dollars a barrel or even higher um, in the coming weeks and months so kind of keep a close eye on that anything in that oil sector may be doing pretty well today um, watch that closely apparently OPEC was unable there's some infighting going on there in OPEC and unable to come up with a production deal. So keep a close eye on that. Might be kind of an interesting uh, play. Now, um, myself and a lot of the members of um, Rightway Options have been holding um, ExxonMobil. We are up huge on this trade. Um, good money in the position. And it's trying to pop and drop here this morning. But watch that carefully. If we can hold some support in here and continue to hold on this trend, I think we're in pretty good shape. And I think any rest back into this area in here might actually provide that opportunity for another entry into the trade. So keep a close eye on it, but also understand that I have a bias on this trade um, with some nice profits in the position. Let's take a look at something a little bit different. Take a look at Fubo. Now Fubo, um, boy, just had a little bit of selling coming in last week. I'm going to show you my drawings on here. Been watching this stock a little bit closely. Um, pulling back and now breaking um, this trend to the uh, trend but if it can hold support in this area in here if it can hold support this could still come back around for that upside move so it's worth keeping an eye on not quite ready for prime time yet but something to pay attention to i think you might want to keep an eye on chewy however chewy is really setting up here chewy beautiful upside trend very nice support level in this chart after breaking through or resting right in here. If we can find reason for inspiration um, in, in the market today, watch for Chewy to maybe to 
continue to extend this upside trend. Beautiful, beautiful chart. And notice we are being held down right there by a 200 day moving average. But if we can pop on through there, there's some upside opportunity that may be coming here. So keep a close eye on Chewy. You might want to take a look at DKNG. DKNG, DraftKings has had a little bit of resting pullback in here the last few days, but notice we're holding onto this trend. As we rest back in toward this trend, um, watch for that next opportunity for maybe DraftKings to pick up and start moving through to the upside. Nice chart, something to pay attention to. And if we take a look right in here, notice we're holding right in there at that 50 day moving average. We're kind of trapped between the 50 and the 200. If that can hold in here, we might push right on, on, on through. So watch that closely if that can hold. Another chart I think is worth uh, keeping some um, attention to is Peloton. Now Peloton popped up here and popped through that resistance and the last few days we kind of slipped back down below that area but notice we're still holding solidly in our trend. So if this just kind of consolidates or rests out here toward trend watch for that next opportunity here in Peloton for that to maybe push on through to the upside. A nice looking chart and I think it's looking good. Now you guys know I've been talking about plug over and over and over again and I think plug power still has that potential in here. Now clearly if you mark this chart exactly the way I have now if I were to grab this line and slip that out everything looks a whole lot better all of a sudden but just that possibility that plug power as this wrestler pulls back toward this trend could find that inspiration in here. We know that um, these alternative energy technologies are starting to pick up and with BMW kind of picking up and putting out a fuel cell vehicle might be kind of an interesting uh, thing to keep an eye on. Let's also keep an eye on the fact that we're testing that holding on to that 200 day moving average of support and um, that 50 day moving average is starting to round up. So it is possible as this kind of rounds itself up, we may have to wait just a little bit longer for this in here, but watch carefully if that can pop on through. You know, another chart in this sector would be Ballard Power. Now, BLDP um, also setting up. Notice it's a little bit weaker than plug, but we have should notice the fact that we've broken through that downtrend and we're holding up here in a nice little area of price support. Certainly have resistance above, but notice this nice little tight consolidation. If this can find some inspiration in here, we certainly could pop right on through here in Ballard Power. And notice we're just clinging right there to that 50 day moving average. Nice little potential setup in that chart. Keep a close eye on it. I think there may be some upside opportunity. Um, you might want to take a look at rig. Oh my goodness, um, rig really took off. And um, with oil sector um, being so hot, we could certainly see anything in oil production, anything in refining really starting to pick up. So keep a close eye on that rig shot up here. Now I would suspect at this point, we'll need a rest or pullback to enter that trade. Don't chase it, but a nice looking chart, definitely something worth keeping an eye on um, overall. So there's a few charts for you to look at, a few charts maybe to put on your list. Hey, I want to wish you guys all a fantastic, fantastic week in trading, a fantastic day. And I'll see you all right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.